माई डियर कोटीज हवा यू ऑल वेलकम टू किड शॉर्ट स्टोरीज डिड यू लाइक द वीडियो एस्टरडे तम्बुलना होप सो यू लाइक दैट ओके सो स्टिल वे डिड वी सी द स्टोरी एस्टरडे वी सॉ दैट तम्बुलना वॉज वॉकिंग इन अ फॉरेस्ट इन दैट वेरी विंटर डे and she reached the mouse house and asked for a shelter and mouse provided the shelter and food to her for that she thanked in in which way by doing all household work in mouse house she thanked the mouse okay so let's continue the story for today before continuing whoever are not subscribed please do subscribe the channel and like the video and share with your friends and family don't forget to click on bell button only then you will get a notification whenever a new video is uploaded okay cuties come let's continue the story for today when she was just in the staying in that house one day the field mouse neighbor visited his house he was very rich he saw tambulina and proposed her to marry him in spring what happened in the neighbor there was one more house, mouse house so that neighbor mouse came into this house just to visit he was very rich mouse when he saw tambulina he liked so much Tambulina was so beautiful, right? Cute and beautiful girl. So that mouse liked Tambulina so much and proposed her to marry him in the spring season. A short time before spring, a long passage was dug from the mouse house to his neighbor's house. Suddenly, what happened? Before the spring season come, a long passage was dug. from this mouse house to the neighbor mouse house all three started walking in that pass passage on the way tambulina found an injured bird so when all three i mean the two mouse and tambulina was walking on that way tambulina found one injured bird who was that bird tambulina took proper care of the bird and the bird was now quite fit and healthy the bird was completely injured don't know how but the bird was completely injured tambulina took care of the bird very nicely and now the bird is fit and healthy to fly away by that time spring came spring season started the bird flew away remaining her about her marriage with the rich mouse what did the bird do before flying away reminded her telling that you are going to get married with that rich mouse who was a neighbor the field mouse told her that the rich mouse had done all the preparations for the marriage and the next day was the wedding day so the mouse how where the tambulina was staying that mouse was telling to the tambulina that the rich mouse who was a neighbor had completed all the preparation for their marriage the next day was their wedding tambulina did not want to marry the rich mouse she was very upset she started to weep but tambulina did not like to marry the rich mouse but she can't just say no to them because they helped her them right in uh, her problem time so she can't just say no so she was just keeping quiet but she was keep weeping she was very sad and she was crying she went outside to her friends the cockchafer and the bird and asked them for help what she did she went outside and she asked the help from her friends cockchafer birds and other insects were there she asked help from them the bird got ready to help her what did the bird do bird was ready to help tambulina the young tambulina flew away on the bird's back what she did she just sat on bird's back and they flew away they flew across many seas and came to a land of sunshine where did the bird bring her 
the bird flight so many seas and brought her to a land called sunshine when thumbelina stepped inside a flower she found a handsome boy as tiny as she there were so many flowers so what thumbelina thought she will go and sit on a flower when she stepped on one flower she found there was a tiny boy just like thumbelina there was one boy sitting on the flower the boy said this is my house you can live in flowers boy said this is this flower garden is my house you can live in this flowers he was none other than the prince of flowers that boy was the prince of that flower garden both fell in love with each other as the time passed both started to love each other the prince asked her to marry him thumbelina agreed and they lived happily ever after what did the boy do he requested thumbelina i love you please do marry me thumbelina agreed for the marriage and they got married and lived happily ever after that's it that's the end of the story did you like the story kids if you like it please click on the like button share with your friends and family don't forget to 